let's go on the Polar Express Grand Canyon Edition. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I'm a tangerine and I just moved to the coolest part of the country. It's like Nevada, Arizona, California state line so I can go into all three states and do all kinds of adventures and today we're in Arizona to do the Polar Express Grand Canyon edition. So grab your slippers and your Christmas pajamas and come along with us to the Polar Express in the Grand Canyon. It is going to be amazing. I mean, look, train's going to come from that way. Let's go do the Polar Express. We have picked up our tickets at the ticket center. How fun is this? And Polar Car G. Really fun gift stop shop in here with all kinds of Polar Express items. I'm getting one of these. I'm so excited. This is so fun. All right, I need this in my life. This is a need, not a want. To get this lanyard to put my tickets in so I don't have to like carry them like this in my hand. They have all kinds of train sets here. I like that one. Snow globes. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, I love that. That's great. How much is it? 35. 35, yeah. Deluxe bells. And a gift box. Okay, there we go. Now we have the Christmas spirit. At first it didn't ring and I thought, well, maybe we don't believe, but we believe. We do we have shirts? Wow. Yeah. The train depot. We're actually going to go out of here on Saturday to see the Grand Canyon. But tonight is the Polar Express. Williams, Arizona. It's right by the Grand Canyon. Polar Express. When we get there, we'll shout, yeah! The Grand, I never thought I would be in the Grand Canyon, much less on a Grand Canyon Polar Express. This is so fun. Look at this, y'all. When we drove he through here earlier this week, it was snowing, so it is about, I don't know, 30 degrees in the 20s. Like wind chill 20s, quite cold. Totally worth it. Train comes in, we are gonna be in section G, which is about halfway down. So we're like halfway. We're not in the front, we're not in the back, we're in the middle. I love to keep this music, y'all. How I hate going out in the storm. Let's go find that girl. We are in the hotel that is right across from the train station and they are playing the Polar Express. This is a really cool hotel. We, we're not staying here because it was sold out and we already have a room in Nevada, so. Really fun fact about this movie is the book was written by an author who was born in my hometown of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Pretty cool, right? Bar in here called Spencer's Bar. That looks really cool. That's a great place to go in if you want a drink or something warm, something to warm me up if it's cold when you're This is the lobby of the hotel, very pretty in here. And they have like a fireplace and a tree over there. Very busy, it's completely full. They have a polar room where you can get photos with Santa. Story time with Mrs. Santa and take pictures with Santa. Oh, this is really cool in here. 
Nice and warm in here. Oh, I see Mrs. Claus, y'all. See Mrs. Claus. Oh my gosh, it's Mrs. Claus. What is this? And then they're playing the Polar Express in here as well. Claus went to check on Mr. Claus. And that's where she's sitting. Oh no, this will never do it, y'all. We're low on Christmas spirit. We need to change that. One that we are taking on Saturday into the Grand Canyon. Down there is the Paul Express. That's the train we're going to be taking. It'll be coming. Not necessarily, kid. Hey, how about a nice hot cup of joe? There you go, kid. Nice hot beverage on a cold winter's night. Mine's kind of weak. <laughs> ah, that's better. What can I do for you, kid? I hear you're the owner of this here train. Yeah, that's right, kid. I'm the owner of this here rapper. Owner of the Polar Express. King of the Pole X. In fact, I'm king of the North Pole. The North Pole? I thought Santa was king of the North Pole. You mean this guy? <laughs> so what is your persuasion of the big guy now that you brought him up? Let me ask, can you hear this? How about you people out there, can you hear this? No. Nothing? No. That's because you're a doubter. It's all humbug, right? <laughs> you don't want to be bamboozled or conned or duped. You're cautious. You don't want to be suckered or hoodwinked. Let down that primrose path. Have the road pulled over your eyes. You don't want to be railroaded, do you? See, it's believing. Am I right? Of course I'm right. But you know, kid, some of the most real things in the world, the things that you can't see or hear. You know what I've been hearing about, kid? These golden tickets. You got one? Let me see it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How about you people out there? You got these golden tickets? Yeah! Oh, the I can see them. Yeah. Yeah. Those look like real, authentic, genuine tickets to ride. Maybe you believe, maybe you don't. But these golden tickets, it's your pass to adventure on the Pole X. I'd keep that somewhere safe if I was you, me. I put all my valuables in the good old ten and a half. Spirit shows that's the safest place. I hear the conductor. I better go. Hey kid, do you believe in ghosts? No. Interesting. <laughs> Here we go. Well, young man, are you ready to go? Where? Why? North Pole. This is the Polar Express. The North Pole. Well, let me see here. You got paperwork on you? Why, is this new here? Yeah. It says here. No letter to Santa. No. No picture with the polar room, Santa. You made your sister put out the cookies and milk? <laughs> hmm. Sounds like a critical year for you. Well, I suggest you get aboard. Come on, come on. Got a schedule to keep. I ain't been late yet. Our grandpas and grandmas, moms and dads, mothers, sisters, boys and girls, want to go to the North Pole? I got some reindeer dust in my ear. <laughs> Boys and girls want to go to the North Pole. Yeah! Get your tickets ready for the attendant. And I guess all we have left to say is, Onward! Onward! Yay! 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 Yay!
so fun. Oh my gosh, get out of here. <laughs> It's your time to shine, Alex. that's over here where we're pointing that'd be great if families can help out that'd be awesome now as we see the North Pole light I need all of you to yell candy cane as loud as you can so we make sure we're in the right spot let's do a practice three two one
the next train is boarding because they are doing it at 7.30 again. So we rode the 5 o'clock train, this is the 7.30 train. So about, well ours was, no ours was the 5.30 train. So 5.30 train and 7.30 train, so about two hour, a two hour experience for the train. This hotel that is by the train station is all lit up. Lots of photo opportunities out here after your train or before. Honestly, the kids on this train were up like the best. And the two chefs were amazing. I, I had two kids like try to give me their bells. I mean, how does that not sum up children for you? Like they're just so loving and everything. We, we, we need to learn from them. Okay, all the 7.30 train peoples have boarded. We're kind of hanging out because it's like we don't want to leave. It's so fun. Really honestly. We're going to wait until the train pulls out so we can see it leaving and wave at everybody. Standing on top of this because it is very cold. Okay, it feels like temperature is 33. For someone that just moved from Florida, that is very cold. Chaos has cleared. Ugh, I honestly would go on this thing again. Like right now. It was that great. that'll do it for today's video honestly it is December and this was the best day that I have had all year I've haven't caught the Christmas spirit at all with everything that's been going on and today I did and my kid had a good time and that's all that matters so until we meet again my friends bye and let's do the Polar Express Grand Canyon again Merry Christmas everyone from my family to yours. Thanks for watching. And, and ring it as loud as you can. Thank you for an amazing night. And what the once again, thank you for riding the Polar Express. Thank you.